Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy KS back at it with a brand new video. Today, guys, we're back here on Chaos Craft for the third episode, and we're back on the Paradise Realm. So, in today's episode, I will be opening a bunch of crate keys, and I know you guys do kind of like these sort of videos. So, I hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video so starting off at my island i'm just gonna go ahead and do all my g kits and we're almost done and the last one is a g kit key which is actually quite overpowered so we got some sets we got some money boosters which i will go ahead and activate there we go then we have a bunch of spawners we have another tier 3 money pouch i have a bunch more pouches in my chest as well and we also have a generous on crate to open for you guys so let's go ahead and get through all these money pouches because that's literally what I kind of need right now. I don't really need mob coins and stuff. I think mob coins actually that would be good, but XP I'm not really in need of. So let's go ahead and keep on going. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and open the tier 3 mob coin pouch. So next, I do have a good amount of crate keys for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to warp crates. So I have some i don't know how many keys i actually have crates Ooh, we got a pro voyages which is actually really good because then what basically happens is that it auto sells and then the tax rate is only five percent so that's pretty good i can basically make like a super afk farm and don't even have to be online for it let's go ahead and keep on opening we need to go ahead and get some iron golem spawn which is actually really nice we have 10 of these now which i believe if i really wanted to i can probably make a pretty overpowered farm with it i'm not really complaining about something like that because 10 igs if i do go ahead and do slash shop mob spawners you guys can see that um tier 3 or tier 4 spawners do cost a bunch of mob coins so i can probably even go ahead and sell these in the auction house for a good amount of money so if i go to all auctions there isn't too much if i do go ahead and sell a bunch of spawners i think people would really enjoy it so i think we have another one of these omega keys in order to open for you guys hopefully we do win another overpowered reward from this as well let's see some keys we got five epic keys which is actually really sick um gg it's a big big gg um i think that is actually really really overpowered so that's pretty nice let's see if we have any more crates i think i have one ultimate crate for my g kit crates um 32 god apple it was it, it, that's not the greatest but i mean i'm not really complaining too much so i'm gonna go ahead and put everything away for the time being i'll keep my spawners on me because they do look quite cool if you ask me that's just my personal opinion on them though so we have five epic gray keys for you guys to open let's see what we get from the first one some xp pouches that's not too shabby not too shabby not the greatest but not the worst we still have another four of these crates to open as well. If I win a rank, that would be absolutely insane. Um, we got a mob coin booster. Then let's play open another one. Let's see. Hopefully, I do win something really nice out of this. Some golden apples. Once again, not the greatest. I don't really need golden apples too much. I think we have another two remaining, and let's see um how it works. Let's see what I do. Go ahead and get. We got another mob coin booster. And we have another one of these epic great keys to open for you guys. And I did end up getting some pretty nice spawner. So lastly, let's go ahead and open this Jennerzon crate. Hopefully I do win some nice stuff out of this. Um, Jennerzon crate, you guys can get copy these at store.chaoscraft.org if you really would like to. I think I did win some pretty nice stuff out of that. Um, we got a robo egg, some pouch sets, some Jennerzon helmet. I think I even got some crate keys. Um, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, I got two. Oh my god, we got a bunch of crate keys to open for you guys. So I guess we go back to crate opening. Let's go ahead and open that robot crate. And I'm pretty sure these are very, very overpowered. Let's see what we do. Go ahead and get. And I got myself a fortune robot upgrade, which is not too shabby. And we got ourselves a radius robot upgrade. That is also pretty good. Then we got some ultimate crates to open for you guys. We received so two. Okay, that's pretty good. 2x is actually pretty overpowered. I think that would help a lot with getting a bunch of our mob coins. Let's open the next one. Hopefully, we do win some pretty overpowered rewards from it. Random good tag. Well, I guess. So now we have two cloth crates to open for you guys as well. Hopefully, I do win some nice rewards from it. So I won two cloth starters, which I can probably do in a future video if I do end up recording here again. Let's open the next cloth crate. Hopefully, we do win something else that is pretty overpowered. 
as well. Um, let's see. Here we get some Iron Golem spawners, which is actually quite OP. So I guess because of all these spawners that I have, so basically the zombie spawners um, and the blaze spawners, and with all the money I have, we're going to go ahead and set up a blaze grinder. So I guess I will cut back whenever we're there and setting up the blaze grinder. Alrighty guys, so as I did go ahead and say in the last clip myself, we're going to be setting up this blaze grinder. It is not going to be too advanced, but I mean, it's just going to be like a little bit of a small sort of thing, I guess. I just want to go ahead and set it up for the time being right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go, guys. I want to go ahead and do slash shop real quick. Go to blocks. Then I'm going to go to glass. I'm going to purchase a bunch of glass. I'm basically just setting up like the outline. It's not going to be too many blaze spawners, basically. It's going to just have a little bit in it. I said that like I was like Tommy in it or something. <laughs> A little bit odd, I guess. Man, we're getting very close to being done with this. We're going to have a pretty, like, efficient sort of grinder, I believe, at the end of this. Um, let's go a little bit higher. There we go. Perfecto, guys. So let's go ahead and just keep on going. We're basically done with, like, we just need another one of these walls after this one. And then I'll be done. And then I can literally just place the spawners, place the water, and then we'll have a... There we go. I gotta do the roof, but the roof is not that important to be completely honest with you guys. So I mean, if it's like if it's looking like this, then we can go like one, two, three, four, like this, like that. Perfecto, guys. Go there, we go there, we go, and finally there we go. So I can get the sign set up in just a second. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, I do want to get them quickly set up. So we're gonna go to the blocks. We're gonna get some oak wood right here. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go ahead and do slash craft. Make it like that, go like this, like this, and like this. So we got a bunch of signs. I think that's going to be enough so we can fill this up just like so, guys. Um, So yeah, like basically you go, and then it falls straight in. And now we just got to go ahead and get the spawner set up, which I do have them inside of my private vault. So let's go ahead and get the zombies. I don't know where my... Where is my blaze spawner? It's right here. Yep, so more zombies. And we're going to go ahead and get the blazes. So we're going to go ahead and stack up the blazes. Stack up all the zombies as well. And then with the remainder of my money, I'm probably going to go ahead and cop some more blazes even. So tier 1 spawners. Can you get blazes? You cannot get blazes. Okay, I'm just a little bit dumb. But I mean, hey, there we go, everybody. I got to get rid of this like platform thingy right here, I think. Um, I think that'll be a lot smarter because then I won't be spawning on top. And then I'm going to get the glass set up. Like so, we're like basically done. And then after this, we're gonna go ahead and finish the video. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep on going for just a little bit longer. I guess you guys can say so. Um, there we go. And then boom, I'm gonna just speed bridge, kind of, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and just keep on going. And boom, everybody. So now we have quite an efficient blaze grinder, which is low-key gonna help out a lot. But yeah, I mean, those zombies are just like, I don't know what's up with those zombies, to be completely honest with you guys. But yeah, everybody, I really hope you guys did go ahead and enjoy this video. I hope you guys also enjoy the future videos for the next week. I'm going to be uploading a little bit more frequently once again. I know I wasn't uploading too frequently for a bit, but now we will be, guys. And yeah, everybody, I hope you do go ahead and have a great rest of your day. And yeah, peace out.